Hey Rainbow Loomers, so today on Over the Rainbow, wait, wait. Is today Friday? What? Wait, today isn't Friday. Is today Friday? Hmm. It's it raining tacos from out of the sky. It's raining tacos day. Nope. I don't think it's raining tacos day. It's Friday. It has to be. It played raining tacos. It has to be Friday. So, if today's Friday, that means it's tutorial day. I am super excited to film this. Wait, am I filming already? <gasps> oh my gosh. So, I have a super cool, just super quick tutorial for you guys. It's not so quick. It's a two-part. But it's pretty awesome. So, last Friday for my tutorial day, I did a two-part My Boo uh, Virtual Pet, which is an app by the way, um, on Android and Apple, I believe, um, figurine tutorial, so here are my little boos, and, whoa, that was weird, um, and if you don't already notice, I made bows for them, so, for guys, you could have a center one, because, you know, like, bow tie, but for girls, you could put them up here, that's what I did, girl, but, I was trying to film another one of these, but, I didn't do it right or something. No, I did it right, but I accidentally deleted it. So, oops. Today, I'm going to show it's not just for the booze, but it is for figurines. Random Tinkerbell figurine. Look at her amazing bow. The top of her bun. Wonderful. So, if you want to have... No. If you want to know how to make this awesomeness, plus... How to make a scarf, the same scarf I used perhaps in my Once Upon a Time Henry figurine tutorial. Mm -hmm. This guy right here, see the scarf technique I did? I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And also before we start, I just want to say I have some more Once Upon a Time figurines that I'd love to do. Uh, just tutorial's over. But I've been procrastinating because I didn't have enough bands at first. And now we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of bands. Check out that haul video that's on my channel. Um, just to see how many packs of bands my friend and I split. So, I have first a bell figuring. This is the bell from Once Upon a Time. So it's not exact, but it's not exact from there anyway. Um... From previous episodes of season four. So there's that. Here is season one Ruby inspired figurine. She didn't exactly wear this, but I think it looks a little like her. So there's that. And of course, Emma with her signature red leather, red, red leather jacket that appears in season one and four and four or and three. So, yeah. Womp. Without any more blabber from me, because I've wasted like three minutes talking about stuff, let's get bowing. Bowing. That's... Okay. Since this design is hook only, you are just going to need your hook. You're also going to need a figurine or a charm in wanting of a bow and of course you're going to need bands for the bow so today I'm going to be using three purples for the actual bow material and then for the knot that holds everything together use a super strong band if you just are using a regular band like these twist it five if you're using a strong and good sized band like this twist four let's get started so your figurine doesn't come until a little bit later so put him or her aside, and you're starting with your cat band. So you're going to twist once, twice, and three times, four times. It's four right there. And then you're going to add on the three in the back of your hook like that. And you're just going to slide that cat band on. Oh, dang it, one of them came off. You can also do patterns for it. I have multiple bows with patterns, as you can see two electric glows and one dark mint and 
I had another one, but I don't know where it went. Okay. Um, so you're just going to slide the um, knot onto the bow. And then there's some more steps. So, ta-da! This is all it is. You've created a bow. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. A more tricky part is coming up next. So, I forgot to add but that this, but you're going to need um, a light pink or whatever skin tone or crazy color your boo figurine charm is. Uh, you're just going to go ahead in the back here and poke the bow where you want it to be. So if you want the bow to be on her foot, go ahead and poke her, the back of her foot. But it has to be in the designated back of your figurine. So I'm going to poke um, on her hand. She's going to have like a little bow bracelet. So I'm just going to poke in completely, just like this. And this part's a little bit tricky. You have to get the entire cap band back on the hook. So keep going and voila, it's on. So then you're going to do the same thing you did for getting it to be the bow. And you're just going to slip on the bow cap band thingy all the way like this. So you're going to keep holding it in that crazy position. And then you're going to slip your figurine's arm on, pushing your bow back. And then slipping her arm on, you're going to gather both ends, having that one end being the first end. And you're going to create a cap band, I mean, excuse me, a slip knot by pulling that first one through the back one and pulling tight, just like that. So afterwards, to seal it completely and make it look great, you're just going to add it on top like that, and you're going to twist it multiple times until this crazy thing that you pulled with disappears. So, for like my booze and stuff, it only takes like once, but figurines, arms, it's going to take a little bit more. Then you're going to find your bracelet if you're making a bracelet out of it, um, your cat band color or whatever, and then you're just going to twist a couple times, and voila! A bow bracelet or a bow hair clip. So keep watching for the part two, which is in another video, should be here. If it's not, go ahead and subscribe to my channel up there. Because um, my videos are really hard to find, and my channel especially, so, um, yeah, if you just go ahead and subscribe now, I'm not even, I'm not kidding, I'm not tricking you, I'm just saying, if you go ahead and subscribe now, you're gonna get uh, a review video or a tutorial video Monday, and every Friday you will get a tutorial video. So, with that being said, keep uh, looking for my part two figurine charm accessories so we're going to be making this scarf and it is again a hook only design but there will be scissors or teeth required so please remember to comment your ideas if you want any one of these once upon a time figurines let's go over it again we have bell oh i guess tink is one so you could do a tink but this isn't the once upon a time tink this is just a tink i made Emma, season one Emma, or your fabulous Ruby, uh, comment down below. I really like to get to them, but um, figurines take quite a few bands, so I try to go slow. My band usage, so that's why you don't haven't seen figurine tutorial in a really long time. So I should probably upload one next week. But I will have an Elsa next week. So uh, this is Once Upon Times Elsa, and it's also got my own twist on it. So don't take it for Disney's Elsa or anything. It's not that at all. It is a little bit, but not that completely at all. Anywho, thanks for watching my videos. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment your ideas. I'll see you in part two. Goodbye!